Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Logic Medico. Today's topic for presentation is Development of Diodenum. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and press the bell button to get the latest notification. So let's start with Development of Diodenum. Diodenum develops at the junction between foregut and midgut. So the lower end of the foregut and the uppermost part of the midgut that is the area where the diodenum develops. So at this junction, usually bile duct, common bile duct opens. So what happens to this lower end of the foregut? It undergoes, lower end of the foregut, it undergoes fusiform dilatation to form the stomach. Okay. So the lowermost part of that, this area, will become ventrally convex. So you can see even the midgut loop is becoming convex. So that portion of the peritoneum in front of it is called as primitive in front of this primitive duodenum, this one is called as ventral mesoduodenum. Ventral mesoduodenum. That portion of the peritoneum behind the duodenum, primitive duodenum, is called as dorsal mesoduodenum. Similarly, with respect to stomach, ventral mesogastrium, dorsal mesogastrium will be there. Okay. So, what happens in this ventral mesogastrium and mesoduodenum? From here, there will be growth of one bud. It's called the hepatic bud. Once the hepatic bud grows, it will once the hepatic bud grows, it will give rise to the various forms of peritoneal folds between the liver and the anterior abdominal wall. It's a falciform ligament, the right and left triangular ligament and coronary ligament. Those are the derivatives. Between the stomach and the liver, it is lesser momentum. Okay. So this ventral and dorsal mesoduodenum is there, it's convex. Okay. Until now it is convex forward. Okay. So initially this part of the lower end of the foregut and our part of the midgut is convex forward. It has got two peritoneal folds, ventral mesoduodenum, dorsal mesoduodenum. So subsequently what happens? The first stage of duodenum development is rotation. Rotation of what? Of duodenum itself. The ventral convexity which is there like this, ventral convexity will now shift to the like this. It will rotate to the 90 degree to the right. Why this happens? That is due to entry of transverse colon. When transverse colon enters, it will push this ventral convexity. This is a transverse colon. When it enters, it pushes the ventral convexity so that it falls to the right. So that is the first stage, rotation of the duodenum to the right because of the entry of transverse colon. Subsequently, the second stage is called fixation. So what is this fixation means? See, initially the duodenum has got two peritoneal folds, ventral and dorsal. Once it shifts to the right like this, only only the the what happens the dorsal uh, mesoduodenum will be there na? that will touch the parietal peritoneum parietal peritoneum behind and there is a zygosis meaning fusion of the dorsal mesoduodenum with the parietal peritoneum so thereby the dorsal mesoduodenum disappears now the duodenum only the peritoneum is there in the anterior portion like this so this post this causes the duodenum which is until now floating between two peritoneum to be fixed right it will now become retroperitoneal organ so this stage is called as fixation of duodenum so why this happens because of rotation this happens because of rotation there are dorsal mesoduodenum touches with the parietal peritoneum on the posterior aspect there is a fusion or zygosis of the same that is dorsal mesoduodenum and parietal peritoneum only the ventral mesoduodenum persists and that will later form one fold just in front of the duodenum. So now the duodenum becomes a retroperitoneal organ. That stage is called as fixation. Now the last stage is, this is the last stage. In this what happens? There is an axial rotation. So what is the meaning of this? Duodenum has got two walls. You can see that here. This is a ventral duodenal wall. There is a ventral pancreatic bud. This ventral pancreatic bud arises from the lowermost end of the foregut. You can see the color code. This is a dorsal pancreatic bud. Dorsal pancreatic bud arises from the dorsal aspect of the duodenum. So what happens? There is a differential growth rate of the ventral and dorsal part of the duodenum. In such a way, the ventral pancreatic bud is there. Na? It will go behind. That is, it grows behind the duodenum to reach the dorsal pancreatic bud. In such a way, it forms pancreas like this. Okay. So that this is called as axial rotation of the duodenum. That is due to differential growth rate between the walls of duodenum. The ventral pancreatic bud goes and touches the lowermost part of the dorsal pancreatic bud. Okay, that is called axial rotation. Last but not the least, there will be 
the cells will proliferate to cover up the lumen okay so at least obliterated the lumen is closed okay subsequently they undergo recanalization like this ultimately the definitive duodenum is generated or created so last stage is cells will proliferate and cover up the duodenum so there is a temporary block around 8 to 10 week of intrauterine life then there is a recanalization of the duodenum coming to the congenital anomalies of the duodenum the first condition is called duodenal atresia so what is atresia i just now told you the cells will proliferate to obliterate the lumen if it fails to recanalize the cells have to die the central portion cells have to die so if it fails to recanalize this area then the duodenum will remain blocked like that in this case the child will have failure to feed uh, project uh, vomiting vomiting will be there and failure to gain weight also will be there because there is a duodenal atresia immediately operation has to be done to clear this atresia or a bypass has to be created between the lower end of the stomach and the jejunum okay this condition is called duodenal atresia okay the second condition is interesting and it's called as annular pancreas annular pancreas so what is this annular pancreas so let's see so ventral pancreatic bud usually divides usually forms one single process right see like this one single process this one single process will undergo axial rotation like this and meets the dorsal pancreatic bud to give rise to the definitive pancreas right so if at all the ventral pancreatic bud becomes bifid like this that means uh, it becomes like a snake's tongue two two projections are there ventral pancreatic bud one undergoes axial rotation as usual from behind another one undergoes axial rotation from forward okay so when the ventral pancreatic bud becomes bifid and both the projections will encircle the duodenum so it will it will encircle the duodenum like this and that condition will squeeze the duodenum second part of the duodenum so that is like a cuff like a cuff that's why in latin it's called annula annular pancreas this will also cause duodenal obstruction the initial duodenal atresia is obstruction within the lumen of the duodenum whereas annular pancreas causes duodenal obstruction from outside just imagine someone squeezing your neck huh? like that so this is called as annular pancreas annular pancreas is squeezing the duodenum if you consider your neck as the duodenum annular pancreas that is due to ventral pancreatic bud becoming bifid and each one of these growing one is growing behind one is growing forward to touch the dorsal pancreatic bud and fuse with the same so later there is a circumferential growth of this right so it will squeeze the duodenum this will also result in duodenal obstruction on radiograph it appears like double bubble sign one bubble will be there here air bubble another air bubble will be here in between there is a narrowing it's called double bubble sign so in summary in summary the duodenum develops at the junction between foregut and midgut so it will initially undergo ventral convexity like this there is a meso duodenum both sides ventral and dorsal meso duodenum subsequently there is a three stages of development that is rotation that is a rotation of the duodenum to the right why initially it will be convex forward like this rotation to the right why because of transverse colon entry into the abdomen then there is fixation that is it loses the dorsal meso duodenum and becomes retroperitoneal peritoneum will cover only the anterior surface then the last stage is axial rotation that is differential growth rate between the duodenal walls in such a way the ventral bud will grow dorsal that is there and what happens at this stage with respect to common bile duct the common bile duct which was initially opening in the ventral wall because of this axial rotation it will now open to the left wall okay the common bile duct will open here to the left side left wall that is that shows there is an axial rotation okay so this is a summary of the development of the duodenum congenital anomalies duodenal atresia that is a lumen is filled up by the cells and annular pancreas that is pancreas surround the duodenum second part of duodenum like this so duodenum development above the opening of common bile duct from the endoderm of the foregut below the opening of the common bile duct from the endoderm of the midgut thank you subscribe to my channel and press the bell button and like this video and share this video with your family and friends thank you once again